All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Q&A for today for The Walking Dead. This one includes both Fear of the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead, as well as The Walking Dead comic book series. And this is with Fear of the Walking Dead. Are we seeing the birth of the Whispers? So in my review on Sunday Night for Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 8, Grotesque, uh, I did say that, of course, as we're seeing uh, Nick kind of uh, just uh, fit more in with and kind of get more used to and spend some more time in his uh, zombie gear as he <laughs> he guts himself up so that he can blend in with the zombies. Um, and it, there's a great scene in the episode, which I touched on in the review, where you see Nick and he's walking along with other zombies against people. So you have the group of uh, guys that come up and they've got the uh, the guns in the Jeep and everything. I think it's a Jeep. And uh, so they come out and they start shooting him down and Nick is in, in, the, in the midst of them and he's walking with them. And um, he freaks out the one guy. The guy drops his bullets and, uh, you know, the zombies are quickly uh, on top of him with Nick in the, uh, in the bunch. So he's actually fighting alongside zombies too where he's using the tactic the Whispers use, which is to move in the zombies to, to camouflage yourself with zombie guts and then move uh, in with them. And in this episode, episode eight, Grotesque, we actually see the walkers save Nick. So they actually do save him from the dogs, if you think of it, uh, as the dogs are there. And he climbs on top of the car and then they come in and they kill the dogs. Um, so they sort of come to his rescue in this case uh, there and then also on the road against those guys moving into uh, the city. Um, so really cool stuff to see. I love, especially love the scene where he's looking and he's kind of hallucinating and you see the zombies are talking to him. Uh, they're whispering, so to speak. And uh, I just thought that was absolutely brilliant as a fan of the Walking Dead comic book series where we see an entire group that just uses this philosophy as whispers where they kind of consistently just live with zombie skins on them and they uh, move around with the zombies and they uh, they whisper and they, they, blend, uh, they blend in with them and the zombies don't think anything of it. They just uh, they continue onward so with this one it's like are we seeing is in fear of the walking dead are we seeing the birth of the whispers like are we actually seeing the whispers uh group you know uh and i think that's a great question and i want to see you guys and actually i'll put a poll to it here um and I want to see you guys uh, write your uh, comments below on what you think about that. And if you think that Nick has kind of just figured out the strategy. Because you have to consider, I did in the timeline video yesterday, that um, right now in the Walking Dead timeline um, with, you know, uh, Fear... Fear is actually at the point right now where Rick is still in his coma. So Nick and the others have a huge head start on our regular group when you consider that, um, you know, Nick has already figured this out. He's already moving in with them. He's already been struggling to survive for quite a while now, living on hardly anything. Um, definitely evolving quickly and got quite a head start on the other, on our other Walking Dead original group. So whether or not Nick is actually and the others are actually a part of the whispers in the television series version from the comic book series, like if if they're part of the same group, um, Nick still employs pretty much all the same strategy that they use, uh, maybe minus putting a full skin on and actually just, you know, he's one step below that maybe because he just covers himself with blood in that uh, for when it rains. But if he's able to cut a skin and actually put it on him, even when it rains, he will probably be... Um, able to fit in with the zombies no no issue at all right so um very cool stuff and it's probably one of my favorite uh, things we've seen so far in fear for sure uh some people didn't like the episode on sunday some people were disappointed by it i liked it a lot and i went in with the expectation because after seeing the promo and as i talked about in my predictions video for the episode episode uh, eight um, I kind of figured that's what we were going to see. So I wasn't disappointed because I, I went in knowing, okay, this is what we're going to see. And then we saw it. And it was actually, I thought it was really good, uh, considering especially those scenes and some of the other scenes we had with Nick struggling for uh, his survival. I thought were really, um, really good. So kind of like a survival type story, a survival type movie. Um, so really, really cool stuff. So here's the trouble with whether or not, okay, so we know Nick uses the strategy of the Whispers one way or another. They use the same strategy. Now, would he, could, is it possible that the group we're seeing in fear is the same group that will come in later in The Walking Dead? Now, this one is tricky because it depends on whether or not The Walking Dead 
TV series is going to get to the point where we encounter the whispers. Uh, there's been people who've t- been talking in comments. I don't know where they got it from, but they said that the Walking Dead TV series may not include the whispers at all. We may see the series end with uh, at the end of Negan, uh, when you know Negan's part of the story is up, and then we may not see the whispers in the TV series version. Um, you know, of course, that is not that's not been confirmed at all. Uh, we know The Walking Dead has uh, is continuing for at least another three years. So, if it does, and we get past the uh, the Negan stuff and the Saviors, and we see the Whispers come in after that in a few seasons in The Walking Dead, be it like season ten, season nine, season eleven, depending on how they space it out and how the pacing is. Uh, if we get there, and if the series continues, eventually the Whispers are going to come in to the original Walking Dead series. So, um, the trouble with this is. If uh, if we were seeing the whispers now in Fear of the Walking Dead, then later you know they would have to be the same, and they would have to switch into the original into the other series. And I just don't see them doing that. I don't see AMC shutting down one for the other unless they're totally separate, right? So because if they cross over, uh, you know the actors, they the, the cast, they can't do both. Uh, there's 15 episodes of Fear. There's 16 episodes of The Walking Dead. So. How could they do like one and then be in the other one too at a different time frame if they were part of that group? So I would say no. I don't think they're part of that group unless something happens in the meantime where like the majority of them are killed off or something, uh, something like that. Plus, it doesn't fit exactly because, um, you know, Madison... If you want to think like, okay, maybe Madison could be Alpha, and later on we could see that transformation. Well, you know, the, the thing with that is she doesn't. Her daughter's not the same name, right? Not really the same age. Uh, Alicia's older than uh, than Carl, um, I believe. Yeah, she, yeah, she is. She's older than Chandler Riggs for sure. Um, so it's just like, yeah, it, to me, it, it doesn't fit exactly. So I don't think we're seeing the same group. I think they are independent because I don't think they would want them to cross over. You know. Um, like that, because that would be a problem for both shows. I think they want both shows to stand on their own, but it is kind of a cool nod to the comics that Nick is employing the same strategy that the Whisperers use, and we'll see if he's able to teach others that same strategy too, or if that's just going to be something that he uses and it's kind of like his superpower or his thing. Um, which I think that's what we're seeing. I think I think going forward, this might be his thing. Maybe he can talk the others into doing it temporarily if they have to, if they get stuck or something, uh, to use the guts trick to escape or something, kind of similar to how Rick and the others use it in The Walking Dead. But I don't think we're going to see them start to put on full zombie skins and this kind of stuff and just, uh, uh, you know, totally like uh, go right on full whispers. Uh, I would be very, very surprised if they did that. So I'm not, so in other words, to answer the question in this video, my thoughts are on it. You guys can write yours in the comments below. I don't think we are because I think they would want to keep the shows separate in that way so that they would never have to worry about the one crossing into the other if they were the same group. So no, I don't think they're the same group, but I think it's really cool to see them use you know this idea from the comics that we haven't seen yet and have Nick really uh, kind of use that as his uh, special ability uh, that nobody else in the zombie apocalypse is willing or is able to do long term. Really cool. Um, yeah, so write your comments below on what you guys think about that, and we'll do a few more uh, questions for today for the Q&A. Alina said, uh, now that uh, Fear of the Walking Dead characters are divided into three groups, which group do you think will face more danger slash trouble, and which group are you more excited to see? So um, I'm most excited to see uh, Madison and, and her group, I think, with Strand in that and how eventually Nick crosses back into that. So I'm most excited to see that. I think the hotel looks like it could be cool and them trying to fortify their own location. I always love to see that in zombie apocalypse movies and shows when they kind of pick a spot and they decide that they're going to set up camp there. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm most uh, excited to see right now. Uh, most uh, danger, I think Travis probably would be in the most uh, danger because he's with Chris. Chris is kind of losing his mind. He's going crazy after the death of his mom, which you can understand for sure. Um, and he's just really confused. He's, they're already kind of fighting as it is. And um, so, and there's only two of them. And uh, with Chris acting so uh, kind of crazy, it's going to be really hard for Travis to kind of try to reel him in or control him or get him to the point where they can focus on survival. Because we don't know with Chris, he's so messed up, if he even really cares if he survives or not right now. I'd almost say that I don't think he really does so much care. Um, and, you know, he right now he's like a villain. It's like we're seeing, you know, him become become a villain, which is really interesting. Um, next one's from Evan Johnson. He says, hey, Trav, I thought mid, uh, Fears... Mid-season premiere was pretty good. Uh, I was disappointed to hear that the episode only got 3.9 million viewers. Do you think Fear can continue on such low viewership? Thanks. Um, 
Yeah, it can. It doesn't need it doesn't need ten million or eleven million or twelve million like The Walking Dead often gets, or thirteen or fifteen. Um, you know, they're both different uh, different uh, shows. And if you look at the episode, it probably wasn't that hard to make that episode. It probably didn't cost that much to make that episode with Nick. Uh, I mean, you know, there's going to be some cost because it's a zombie apocalypse, but I don't think it would cost that much. I think they should be able to definitely, you know, turn a profit on that episode and, and do just fine. Because they're doing 15 episodes a season now, um, and they have so many. Like, with, with Fear this weekend, I was I did the video, uh, Fears on tonight, on Sunday morning, to kind of like to let people know because there was no buzz. There was no buzz whatsoever. Nobody was talking about it. Like, nobody in the comments or anything that I saw was like, oh, I'm so excited for Fear. No, nobody was. <laughs> nobody. And people had forgot all about it. And, and I looked at the, the, at the schedule, and I'm like, oh, man, that's this Sunday, right? And I was like, oh, shit, it is this Sunday. So I checked the wiki and everything. I verified it. I had to check, double double take it because... Because nobody was nobody was talking about it. So, um, but personally, I like Fear. It's been confirmed for a third season already. I think we'll do fine. I think it'll get a fourth season, but uh, we'll see. But you got to consider most other shows on AMC. They don't even get four million views an episode. So for Fear, that's probably fine. To be honest with you, it's probably good enough. You know, and uh, yeah, the finale will probably get more. The premiere will get more. But I think. Uh, AMC will understand that it's it's a fairly new show. You're releasing a lot of Walking Dead stuff. Fans like it. I appreciate it. I like to see Fear. I'd rather have Fear than nothing, you know, than no other than just The Walking Dead by itself. Um, I like it, and, and especially to get to see this kind of whisper style thing that Nick is doing. I, I'm I'm all for it. I love to see it. So uh, it's great. So yeah, we'll we'll finish with this one. Uh, yeah, I don't think Fear is in any kind of jeopardy or trouble of being canceled or anything like that. Uh, Evan, I I think it's just fine. And uh, they're doing a lot of episodes, so. Um, you know, you may not get as much buzz for each episode when you're doing 15 as when you're only doing 6 or 7 or 8 or something. So it's a little bit different. So uh, and that'll be it for today's Q&A, guys. Uh, pretty much a fear uh, Q&A. If you uh, liked the, the video, we'll write your comments below on the Whispers question. Uh, but don't forget to thumb up the video. Always appreciate that. You can also share through to Facebook. You can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys again soon. For another, as always, it's Trev. And I'm saying peace. Later, guys. I'll see ya. You can share, you can favorite, you can subscribe. Hell, you're all going to be doing that.